Welcome to The Kayla Lee Show. We're about to leave behind those old school beliefs and those low vibe limitations that lead you to exhaustion and to burnout as you grow your business. Together, we will explore how you can 2x your revenue in the next 90 days, how you can reclaim back 10 plus hours of your week, how you can rapidly create a multi six figure business or a seven figure business in less than 12 months. Hello and welcome back to The Kaylee Show. I am so excited for this conversation. I say this all the time, but I am genuinely really excited about this because this is me bearing my entire heart with you vulnerably and to a whole new level of authenticity. Throughout my entire life, I have learned to protect myself. Like I'm almost bulletproof. Not much will hurt me. Not much will penetrate me. And I basically repel shit. And this has happened for me because of my intuition. This has happened because... I can energetically feel, know what you're thinking and feeling and your intentions are. Which means that although this is a gift that I've been tapping into a lot recently, it was also a curse growing up. It meant that I could feel the energy of a room without a single thing being said. It meant that I could feel hostility, anger, rage, hate without even an action. I could feel love, joy, bliss, excitement without a celebration. I can feel when someone has the wrong intention and I can feel when someone does. So throughout my life, I have learned to block that out because I actually got myself to a position where I didn't trust my intuition because what I knew to be right within me, somebody I trusted would be telling me something different. And so I thought I was in the wrong and that I didn't have it right and that I should trust what this person is saying because I trusted them. I trust them. I love them. What this meant is that my barrier around my heart was so fucking strong that nobody could penetrate it. My journey over the last year to 18 months to six years has been extraordinary. And I have gone through healing, purging, healing, purging, healing, purging to break through all of my limitations and I'm nowhere near done yet. But I think this conversation a behind the scenes into me is one really valuable conversation for you to understand my gifts, but also more about what I'm navigating on a personal level and how I've gotten to where I am today through so much heartbreak and pain. So you may know that I am a wife and I am a mom of three beautiful little boys who are under six. And although right now it might look like my businesses have exploded, I've been in business for 10 years and for six of those years, I didn't get half of the results that I'm getting right now. For six of those years, I didn't realize what I was capable of creating either. Everything that I wanted was a very limited version. In fact, I would even say that I didn't even allow myself the opportunity to dream. 
I wasn't interested in sacrificing my family. I wasn't interested in sacrificing me as a mother to reach these goals or vision. But what I want you to know is that throughout the last six years, three three and a half of those years, I spent pregnant, breastfeeding, giving birth, or on maternity leave. Three and a half of those years was me giving everything to my babies and my family. Three and a half of those years when I was meant to experience all of this overwhelming level of love, I actually was experiencing the bipolar opposite. I was experiencing a level of pain that I didn't think was even humanly possible. I was experiencing the grief of losing my mum at a time when I needed her most. So five years ago, I went through absolute hell, but before that, it was still painful. My entrance into motherhood was really fucking hard. Not just postnatal depression hard, not that I'm discounting any of that. But at a time when I was meant to be experiencing this overwhelming level of love for my babies, and I did, I was also trying to navigate an overwhelming level of grief from losing my mum. And who is the one person that you need more in the world when you're learning to become a mum and navigating motherhood? You need your mum. And that's the one person I didn't have. So in the first year of Elliot, my eldest boy, in the first year of his life, we didn't go to play group. We didn't go to any mother's group. We didn't, we didn't have the typical entrance into motherhood. That was really fucking hard. And I just stopped my business. When my mom got sick, And we found out she had cancer and then it was stage four and it was terminal. Everything else stopped. My mum was... The one thing that she wanted more in this life was to be a netter. And she was the most incredible netter. She was the one that would like be there in a heartbeat be there for anything that you needed. She'd be the home that you could land at when you couldn't be bothered cooking dinner, the home that you could send your child to when you just had enough and you had nothing more to give. And she didn't get to experience that. Her greatest joy was her grandchildren. Don't get me wrong, she loved us all too. (laughs) But her greatest joy were her grandchildren. And she got one year with Elliot. And that was the most incredible year. And it's a year that I will cherish forever. And I regret nothing because we spent every single moment with her. Every moment she was in ED, every moment she was at chemo, every moment she was at the trial, every moment she was at the doctor, every moment she was at home. And if we weren't at any of those places, we were at the cafe having coffee. The number of photos that I have of my mum having coffee, holding Elliot, it's, it's, it's the most incredible thing. But then, then I found out I was pregnant with Theo. And I remember this one moment when my mum said, you know why he's coming so soon, don't you? And I was like, Just didn't want to acknowledge it. He was coming so soon because mum had so little time and she just wanted to meet him. And if in so many ways he was her finishing line. So she defied the doctors. She defied, defied all science and she made it to meet him. But she passed five weeks later. So this meant that 
whilst I was navigating a one-year-old and a newborn, a five-week-old, I was I, I was laying in bed and I was asleep so tired and my husband rocked me and he's like, honey, mum's just died. So just like imagine what that would feel like. In five weeks into having your second bubble, when it's meant to be not all roses, but these beautiful like moments and you're navigating the pain or the potential pain, or the worry and the concern of like, when is her last breath? So at 9.30 at night, maybe even later, I can't remember, I was driving to my dad's house, my mom and dad's house, and with my newborn baby in the car, to say my final goodbye. That's not how I visioned my entrance into motherhood. And so what happened from there is that the rest of time looked so different because the perception of what I valued was so different after losing mum. Everything changed. It was like I was going down one pathway with a set of values and a set of beliefs and then it's like I just got smashed and everything crumbled and I had to install new values, new beliefs. I had to take a new pathway because the vision that I had, that I desired, that I wanted for my mum, for have for her to have this experience of seeing her grandbabies every day, for me to have the experience of having my mum there every day, just it wasn't, it wasn't available for me. So this new pathway that I had to take was filled with so much pain and so much grief and so much hurt. And it's a level of hurt that I would never in my life wish upon another soul. At a time, that was really painful. So this new pathway led me down a road that I am forever grateful about. It's a pathway that has led me back to my mum in the most magical, mysterious way. This pathway... Once I got through the seven stages of grief, once I got through the anger, the rage, the denial, the the trade-off, the wanting, the craving, the deep, deep praying for mum to come back, what do I need to do? Once I got through that, once I spent so much time in counselling with psychologists to just help me get through this, because I didn't want my babies to experience pain like I was. And I didn't want them to experience a mum who just had nothing to give except for hurt and pain and sadness. Because it was so far from who I am at my core. And I knew in my being that there was another way. I knew that I could experience something different. And so I stopped everything with my business and I focused only on my babies and me. I didn't care if clients weren't coming. I didn't care if clients weren't booking. All I cared about was how can I break through this, heal this pain so that I can break through and gift my boys the greatest gift of all. And so it became about how can I shift and heal the grief and the pain without losing the memory of my mom? How can I keep her memory alive? How can I bring her into every single day? How can I create change in the memory of my mom? 
And then I found myself going through a spiritual journey, the dark night of the soul. I remember distinctly praying for a pathway that was going to bring me joy again, that was going to change everything for my babies. I wanted them to experience love, joy, happiness, magic, wonder, adventure, all the things. And the way that I was going, I was not able to give that to them. So for me, my focus was how can I, what do I need to do? And they became my light. So I just kept working on myself. I just kept healing myself. I just kept hitting a barrier after barrier after barrier and then breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. What else did I need to do to break through, to heal that, to come out on the other side? And it was through all of that healing, I found my spiritual journey. It was through all of that healing and this deep desire, this deep knowing that I can connect with my mom. Through that deep desire of wanting to connect with my mom was where I found my intuition and my greatest gift. And all of a sudden, everything, the barriers that I put up around myself to protect myself from that gift so I didn't feel other people. They didn't have the opportunity to hurt me. They didn't have the opportunity to confuse me. They didn't have the opportunity of all of those things that I had put up to protect myself started to come down, started to crumble. And all of a sudden, my gift that I had as a child started to reignite. And I remember this one experience that changed everything for me. I was celebrating. Oh, I was celebrating the 13 clients that came into expansion when I first launched it. 13 women came into expansion and I had this moment of just pure ecstasy and bliss. I can't even explain. All I know is that it is the most incredible feeling that I've ever had. And I stood there in my office with this feeling and I was like, I literally spun around like in circles just celebrating what had happened like celebrating how much I had achieved not just from success but from the inner healing and growth like the feeling of where I was six years well four years ago before that and to where I was now and the feeling that I had with just six years ago I never thought this was ever possible and I was experiencing it Six years ago, I never thought that I would find happiness and yet I was here experiencing it. Six years ago, I never thought that I would find a moment in time where I would be the mum that I wanted to be without the pain, the hurt, the grief holding me down in a depressive, sad, low energy state who I knew was so far from my core. And so I had this moment where these incredible women were joining expansion and I had this moment where I spun around and I just was elated with this feeling. I can't even explain. It was like out of this world. And as I was spinning around, I looked ahead of me and I could see these two pillars of light. I was a pillar of light and there was two pillars of light in front of me. It was like a triangle. And I knew in my core that these were Pillars of light, the energy source of my mom and my nana. And they were there celebrating with me. There with me, in front of me, in this 3D reality, they were celebrating with me. But more than that, it was this feeling that they've been there the whole time. So I got a flood of all of these moments that had happened over the last six years of every single moment that mum was there. Like she literally was showing me every single thing. It was like, it was the most surreal thing. I can't even explain it. Like I feel like I'm trying, but it was like flashbacks of all these memories where she was showing me that she's been there the whole time, the whole time. And although that I've known that she's there and I felt her physically touch me to see her as an energy form in front of me, as a pillar of light right next to Nana was the most extraordinary experience that changed everything to me 
for me. And it was through this experience that gave me the permission to want to go a little deeper. Deeper into understanding the energy, frequency, vibration, spirituality, intuition, subconscious, what's holding us back, understanding the core of our essence, understanding our heart, understanding that magic, that feeling that I experienced, that feeling of, it's just like, it was like I was home. That feeling that I had when I seen my mum and my nana and myself in pillars of white light was like I was home again. And it's taken me, that feeling, that experience has taken me on a whole new journey that I never would have anticipated. And it's been the greatest gift. When people ask me, like, I just, about mum, I can't help but feel like that was her greatest gift to me and to my babies. I, I literally sit here and I cannot express in the exact words to articulate how I feel, but it feels to me like this was the greatest gift that she could give me and my boys. So although I miss her dearly in her physical presence, Finding her through my spirituality and my intuition and my energy and my ascension has been the greatest gift, the most healing gift that has extended beyond time that she could have given me and that I could have given her. The healing that I have done on myself has been healing work that I have done for my family, for my mum, my nana, for my brothers, for my dad. And it is extended out beyond time. It is healing work that I have done for my babies. And it's extended beyond gener generations to come. And I really wanted to share this, even though it's broken my heart to share. It's taken every part of my strength to share. I wanted to share this because I wanted just you to see the growth and evolution that I've experienced through one of the most crippling moments of heartbreak that I would never wish upon another soul. But it was through this heartbreak and this pain and this deep desire for this reconnection to my mum that reignited my gifts I already had and gave me the pathway back to my intuition, back to my soul, back to my connection, back to my gifts, and ultimately back to my mom, which is the greatest gift that she could have given me because now I don't feel like I've lost her. She's here. And she's with me. And she's with my babies. And she has been the greatest source for my evolution and my growth and my breakthroughs and my healing in the last six years. I would even say that had I not lost my mum, I would not be where I am today. Here, where I am today. I feel like some Kiwi <laughs> came out of me there. <laughs> I hope that you've loved this. I hope that this really helps you to see the depths of my heart and why everything in my world has meaning. Why the conversations I have with my clients have meaning. Why the conversations with my bridal team have meaning. Why the relationships in my communities have meaning, have depth, why the relationships with my boys and my friends and my family have so much more depth and meaning. I've never been one to talk about the weather. I couldn't be any less interested in the weather. There's a reason why my clients sit in my chair and they feel instantly welcomed, warmth, love. It's who I am. 
and this has been most ignited since losing my mom, since taking this journey, since healing the pain, since healing all of that hurt that was shadowing my greatest gifts. And this has been ultimately the reason why I've been able to build and create the most extraordinary relationships with my boys, with my clients. is because in my world, everyone is valued. In my world, the relationship has meaning. In my world, it's not surface level. In my world, there's a depth, there's a connection, and it extends beyond this realm. It's a soul connection. And this is where my magic lies, is in my intuition. And the only reason that exists is through my journey of the last six years. I hope you've loved this. Let me know, send me a DM in Instagram, what, like, what comes up for you? This is new, this is different. I can't say I've ever put my heart out so vulnerably like this before. So I would love to know from you anything that came up, anything you want to share, reach out to me in the DMs, my love. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today, gorgeous. If you're loving this episode, it would mean the absolute world to me. If you could take a screenshot, share and tag me in all of your socials. I love seeing this podcast reach as many ears because I want to help so many women access more time, more revenue, more growth in their business without sacrifice. This is my absolute goal for this podcast. So don't forget to hit subscribe or follow and leave an epic five-star review because for every review, you will receive free access to my Ignite Master Course, which was worth worth $2,991. So Ignite was a three-hour business growth conversation to help you overcome your challenges, accelerate your business and implement strategies that will help you to access more revenue, more time and more growth and help you to create the lifestyle and business of your dreams in the next 12 months. For every review, I will send you through access for Ignite Master Course. This is insanely epic. So once you've left your review, send me a DM with the word Ignite and I'll send you through your discount code so you can access Ignite for free gorgeous. Thank you so much for joining me and I shall see you in the next episode.